you know, I wanted to um, no. um, share this uh, story. Oh, you were still going to talk about what's her name, right? The Baxters or something, yeah. right? Yeah. Okay. So, um, I'm pretty sure y'all probably um, familiar with the Baxter family. Um, the with mm -hmm. the little boy with osteogenesis. It's a little boy, a little black family, um, little boy named Byron. Mm -hmm. And he was born, um, his body is deformed. And he has um, what they used to call brittle bones disease. Mm -hmm. So anyways, um, they're really popular on um, on a lot of the social media, media um, channels and whatnot. So I follow the family or what have you, and I have for a while. So the, the mom came on yesterday morning, and <clears throat> I, you know how you just click by, happened up on the page, and I went in and I listened in while I was getting dressed. And I what attracted my attention is because she said, um, the first things I am out was pray for my son. So um while I'm on her live, listening to her live, um, she was talking about how her son struggled with a mental illness or what have you, what with depression, and how he kept, you know, on and off saying that, you know, was would threaten to commit suicide and what have you. So she said that about um, ten o'clock in the morning that she had gotten a a, a text from someone of a message that had been circulating throughout the night or whatever regarding her son being in a car accident, but um, no one called her, so she didn't find out about it until yesterday morning. So she what? started calling. She started calling her son. He was talking to his ex-girlfriend, apparently, and crashed his car and she said she saw him go through go forward and the phone went black but she didn't call 911 and she didn't call his mom or anything she just started to screenshot it and started this text going around talking about how stupid he was and all this that and the other but she never <laughs> called her mom never called anyone so you the stupid asked, one Girl, so she gets the mom comes or she's on live and she's talking about it. She said, "Now we don't know where my son is. I've been at his house. He's not, he's not at home. He's not answering his phone. We don't know where to start looking. Like he could be on the side of the road, dead or something. We don't know." And so she's talking it all the time. She's talking. She's steady dialing his phone number, hoping that he would pick up. Mm -hmm. and, and so while she's talking. All of a sudden, dialing this number, somebody picks up the phone. She's like, wait a minute, who has my son's phone? Y'all, when I tell you the voice on the phone was a lady, and the lady said, is this Mrs. Russell? She said, yes. She said, ma'am, are you driving right now? Are you alone? She stopped. She said, who is this? She said, ma'am, this is... I'm just going to say Jill St. John from Gwinnett mm -hmm. County Medical Examiner. Y'all, tears, I just started screaming. She's, because I'm reacting. When they said it, she said, babe, medical examiner, that's where they take dead people. Is my son dead? Is my son dead? She just, oh my God, y'all, she just panicked. Longer the short of it. This boy crashed his car into some trees and committed suicide. And his girlfriend was on the phone with him the whole his time. Girl, ex girlfriend was on the phone with him, y'all. Watched it happen and didn't call his mama and say nothing. He he probably could have been saved had she called nine one one. Had she called nine one one? Tell him what. Tell him what she posted on her social media. She posted on the social media. She called him stupid. She said he was dumb. She um uh 
um, they circulated a picture or whatever between, not on her social media, I'm sorry, on text. So she sent the text to his, to his another ex-girlfriend, a whole bunch of other people that she knew of him, but never called his mama. What? So she said, when you seem, she said, I just want you to know that my son is dead. And you watched him kill himself. And you didn't even call me. You didn't call me. You didn't call the police. You laughed about it. And you called I was joking with her friends about it on text messages or something. With her friends about it. Why that baby? She saw him go through the windshield. She saw him. But this girl still was in shock. Didn't believe she said, I gotta, I gotta no. You're telling me this. How do you know it's my son? You are, this is it. You're on his phone. You have his phone. Oh my God. And the mom was doing? live the whole time on Facebook. She was, she was live the whole time. time. <laughs> she was live the whole time. She actually forgot she was on live for a minute because she dropped the phone. And she was just talking. And she was going in and out of reality. Like one day she'd talk real calm. The next minute she panicking. Then she was real calm. Then she was panicking again. It was just. Something traumatic to watch. You just said got to the coroner's office where that baby's body was. She had been to another place, and the mother was still alive. She was still alive. She went to another place, the place where his body was at. She was like, still, like, okay, how do I know this is my son? You can, you all can be telling me anything. It can be somebody else. It's somebody that had stole his wallet or anything. I don't know. They said, well, we have a picture. Mm. Let me see the picture. When she looked at that picture, she's still alive. She looked at that picture, y'all, and saw that baby's picture. She didn't say nothing. Tears just started flowing. She was Her mouth was open, and her husband spoke up and said, that's our son. Man, after that, the inspector and them were telling her, we're going to do everything we can to figure out exactly what happened. When was the last time you talked to him? Who do you know? And that's what she told him that she, he talked to what he said, which was, he told, oh, he told the girl. That's what you probably was talking about. Tell you. She told the, he told the girl, I'd rather do it where my mother can find my body because I don't want her to have to look for me. So he crashed his car into some trees in an area where they would be able to find his body. Mm -hmm. when, um, and his name is Cyrus Baxter. Cyrus Russell. Cyrus Russell. And he yeah. was uh, 24. 20, he was, uh, was 20 he 24 or 20? He was 20. 20, 20 years now. old. Mm. Yep. And yep. this is the thing she said. Her conversation with her son the night he did it. She talked to him about 10 o'clock. The girl talked to him about 10.30. They, the um, examiner said it, that she called. She announced, pronounced him at 11.55. Mm -hmm. So you, you, you realize that whether the person was dead at that time or not, it was when they discovered it is when they actually pronounced it. Yeah. yeah, but the corner they can they can go back and say, well, he must have been dead about such and such a time because of the condition of the body, the rigor mortis, da 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 da. So she pronounced him at uh, eleven fifty-five. So that means yeah. he last a whole hour. The, yep, the last time she almost two hours. The last time she talked to him, well, about an hour and a half. Yeah, you're right. You're exactly right. Mm -hmm. So the girl said she talked when he crashed. It was about ten thirty. So he was there from 10 30 until they pronounced him. But even though the girl is, I just don't get it. Like, even if that's your ex, your current uh, enemy, somebody you don't like, a stranger, like, he crashed last night into some trees and the girl watched him take his own life. She didn't call his mother. She, no. Instead, she texts her These friends. These kids are so desensitized. About they she are texts so desensitized. She girl. texts her friends and made jokes about it. Screenshot it. That's crazy. So she they probably so screenshot him going through the freaking windshield. You're That's crazy. 
But like I told Cislo, what's even still what's crazy to me as well is when the mom found out her son was dead while she was live on Facebook, she remained live. She went to the corner on live. She was, I mean, she oh, spent her whole day live. on she spent her whole day on live yeah. on Facebook. But, uh, but, and I was uh, like, get off of social media. Like a lot of people like get off of social well, media, the- go handle your business. But she was she live did. the entire time. Like I thought that was really really strange like i understand you all about your clicks and views on social media and you got a hundred thousands of followers and subscribers but if my child was to die and somebody called me that phone is being dropped the live is going off and i'm going to go grieve my child but she was on live like all day long let me tell you when she finally what made her this way? When did she finally go off live? Let me tell you, she's still on back and forth, and I'll tell you why in a sec. Why she, you know, mentioned in a second. But girl, today, you remember now, up until this point, she, all she saw was a picture. So she had to go. They told the coroner, told her the only way she would be able to actually see him, see him, is once she released him to a funeral home, then she could go to the funeral home and see him. Mm. Um, she chose to cremate him. Um, that was her choice, you know, was to cremate him or what have you. She and because she said she wanted to have him with her, she didn't want she wasn't ready to release him or what have you. So she got picked off the urn and all that. Well, today was the day that they told her she could see him before they cremated him. She was on live when she went in the front. Don't tell me she still was uh, on live. Wait, 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 listen, let me finish. Let, Ooh, me child. let me finish. Listen to this. She was walking in the front room. The director stopped her and said, Are you on live? She said, Yes. He said, You on Facebook or something? She said, Yes. He said, Well, you don't want to go in. You can't go in here. She said, This is my only time being able to see my son. And I want to document everything that I have because I will never see him again after this. Because you're going to cremate him. I, I got to do this. This is I, this is the way I, I need to do it. But everybody else don't need to see it. But everybody oh, else, she could have recorded it. She could have recorded it. Listen, listen, listen. When she walked into that room, he said, okay. When she walked into the room where he was, she said, babe, his eye, his eye. And she looked at the funeral director and said, you're right, you're right, you're right. And she cut it off. But my thing is still, you didn't have to go live for 24, 48 hours Maybe. this whole time. If you wanted to document all this, you could have just recorded it. You could have took pictures. That to me, I'm yeah. sorry, that's rest of her son, done. but that's clout that's chasing. She was totally well, clout chasing is, the entire time. My thing is, I, I wouldn't have done it. You wouldn't have done it. A lot of people, but Everybody deals with grief different, and I can't say nothing. I understand that, but those are crazy things that YouTubers and people on social media do for clicks and views. That is not something that a normal person would do. They're not going to show their their loved one's dead body. They're not going to. They're not going to do all that live, like live where the whole world can see. I wouldn't. You wouldn't. But again, and probably a million other people probably wouldn't either. I wouldn't. But there are people who do that. That's just like I know there I are people who do that. I mean, but that's just like I wouldn't go to. A, but that's people like people big who go to funerals and take pictures of the dead body. Exactly. But I'm saying well, in this that. situation, but some people would. It's normally in this situation, people with big platforms and a lot of fl- followers. Your everyday person who does not have all these people watching them all the time, they're not famous and stuff like that. They're not going to do that. This is stuff that people do when they have a lot of followers, they get a lot of publicity. That's one of the things well, that, mean, people, that people that people criticize. Not, not always. But that's one of the things that people the criticize. Though, but that's one of the things that people criticize uh, people who are um, 
who are social media gurus or whatever you oh, want to call oh, it. Right, I got you. Yeah. You know what I mean? Uh-huh. Like a lot of people who have followed, like I said, this is a click and view thing. I, I I know she's probably grieving, and again, rest in peace to her child. But there's no way I'm gonna sit online talking to y'all, and somebody just told me my son died. There's no way I'm gonna hang up the phone and start calling people, calling this person, calling that one, verifying, making sure I'm putting on my shoes, I'm putting on my clothes, I'm packing up the kids, locking up the door, and I'm out of there. She was literally on live for 48 hours. Would do. She you was just saying that's what else. you would do. Yeah, she wouldn't take calls from nobody else. She said, Of course, like because she was on live. And she no, she it was other times that she changed if, if she mm-hmm. gave her number out on, mm-hmm. on live by mistake, not thinking. But mm-hmm. um she she said she just did all she wanted to do was vent on on. She didn't want she didn't want anybody to talk back. She I understand venting post. like after everything's taken care of and you jump yeah. online here and I gotta talk to you guys, let you know what's going on, update you guys on things. But she literally that that was very strange. Sorry, and, and on top of that, on top of that, she allegedly I, I saw the reports and stuff. She was involved in some scams a couple of years ago. So a lot of people was coming at her on the live, like, what are you doing? Get off live. Like, cause a lot of people know her from being an alleged scam artist and using her sick children to make all these GoFundMe's and all these different things. So mm-hmm. That, along with what recently happened to her son and her up here on live on a social media app where she can get like all these monetary gain and stuff like that. I mean, it makes you think <laughs> like, what is wrong with you? Like, this is a personal tragic situation. And I was watching like, what the f- I'm like, dude, yeah. they just told you the, 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 the medical exam. Why are you still on here? Yeah. Like click off. Have, There's a certain times you just need to click off. Like, but there are some people who are addicted to being on social media. And that's media what I'm saying. Like, this ain't normal behavior. This is who, a that. That's what I'm saying. But I'm saying it's an addiction. Just like there are people who are addicted to, um, like plastic surgery. You wouldn't be addicted to it. There's certain I people, wouldn't. certain people but with large people platforms, certain people with followers who will damn near record and go live on everything. And that's what was going on. But that's, I mean, yeah. it's the same thing with these uh, Instagram influencers. They, they, they posting everywhere they go. They got to wake the up. Same, that's what I'm saying. It's the IG. same thing. I'm they not picking and, and choosing people and, here. I'm saying it's people like that, like people who influencers, people with large followings that will do anything for a click and a fucking view. And that's that's what she was doing. Bottom line. That's what she was doing. Like you going to the you going to the funeral home to look at your dead child who you have yet to see and you want the whole entire world to see it with you. No, she was. I don't, I don't think she was gonna show. If that man wouldn't have told her to turn that phone off, she still didn't. She she, she still didn't. would. She still would have. Uh, right. If he wouldn't have said nothing, though, she probably would have walked in there and recorded she everything. He wouldn't have told her. She it was when she seen there. her child that she, she turned it now. off. But she I'm saying it it's like, <sighs> never mind. Yeah, once I'm saying she once she didn't. She still went in there with it on, but once she saw him, I know, I know she did, and that's what I'm saying. That's if he, he, told if he wouldn't have said anything right, to her at right. all, she probably would have kept it rolling if he didn't say anything to her at all. That's what I'm saying. She no, probably she, wouldn't because he was telling her, like, you don't want to do this. Why are you doing this? Right. Like if that's mm-hmm. common sense, though. Why are you doing this? Ain't no way I'm gonna go in there and my mama dead on a slab and I'm gonna be live. Like, that's ridiculous. But anyway, rest in peace to her son because it was a tragic death. The girlfriend, she needs to be slapped. She needs mm-hmm. to be slapped. I would, oh, ooh, I Lord Jesus. That, but I do, I do feel bad. I mean, I do. Yeah. I couldn't have done it. Because I could, I, I, I probably wouldn't have been able to talk. I'm not going to lie. 
Uh, I'm, Let's say it again. You know, if you I, had 150,000 followers, you probably would bro, have. Because, because so, like Carmel Diva said, some people, they they addicted to that that attention, that those followers, those, well, it you know, me, and they it just. could have been me. I, I just, I, I'm just, I'm cut from a different cloth, but just like, like you were saying, I, I mean, I get what you're saying, but I'm just saying, I, I don't know. I guess I don't know, boo. Oh, hey, I it's sad. I mean, regardless if she was live or not, what happened to her son, him committed suicide. That is and, sad. And, and, and my my people point, like my point is the, is that the fact that mental illness is nothing to play with. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? It, you can't take it for granted that you know if your kid is telling you that they can't cope or they can't hang or whatever the case may yeah, be. Yeah, because wasn't this like the second or third attempt? Well, he's been suicidal for most of his um, adult life, for all his adult life, from what she's saying. He, he was yeah. mentally ill. Yeah. And he wrote her a letter a month ago, like before, right before she had the baby, and said mm -hmm. the only reason why I don't want to kill myself right now is because mom I don't want you to hurt anymore that you then you hurt and you're about to have my first baby sister this that and the other which she has an older daughter that they don't have a they have a yeah you said she gave her daughter up for adoption the oldest one right oh my god it's more and and oh my god the way that she was talking to this girl in that it, I felt bad for that baby. I mean, I felt real bad for for her, her 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 daughter. I mean, girl, the way she was talking to that child, don't know mother ever ever. No, I heard that. Sky from uh, uh, Black Ink say some shit to her son, um, like when she said she should have swallowed him. Girl, I, I was like. And Are she, you fucking kidding me? Yeah, I remember. I remember that was like a couple of years ago on Black she, Ink. She told her. But what did she say to the daughter? She said you was just the the um you ugly just like your father and. And how old is the daughter when she told her that? How old was she? She's twenty something years old. This was like not too long ago. They had a bad falling out on on mm -hmm. social media. On live. See what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. on, no, not on live, but it was on. Um, um, I don't know. I think somebody like Shade Rumor, somebody mm -hmm. like they got a hold of it. So it was. It was were, on some um, type of social it, for them to get hold uh, of it. Girl, it was on some type of social media. They the probably deleted she, it later. That's probably what happened. Uh, the way that she was like, oh, it ain't deleted. The messages is out there. The way she was talking. No, I'm talking about the person who originally posted it. Probably deleted it. But you know, the shade room, they get your shit right away. Like a lot of people on YouTube, you know how they post stuff and delete it. The shade room already got it. Uh, not only the shade room, but uh, what's the other one? Lipstick Alley. That's what. Yeah, yeah lipstick and alley and all of that. Yep. But the shade room was the one who had talked about her on her um. What was it? The uh. On, on the scams. Hold on. Matter of fact, hold on. Keep talking. I'm about to pull it up. So, yeah, she, um, it was just really ugly the way she was talking to that girl, though. She was like, you, I ain't never loved you. Ain't no love. Lost. But why would she tell her that? Like, what was they arguing about? Like, what happened for her to say that to her? The, um, somebody, and this was the child she gave away, right? Right. This was the one she gave up for adoption. So it must have been some type of and open adoption where she still was able to reach out to her. Um, either that, or maybe or the girl, girl found, found her. her. Oh, you know, the girl found her, and something that happened with her adopted mom or somebody put her out or something like that, and she uh -huh. called on her and she wouldn't, she wouldn't open the door for her or something. What? Mm. Yup, and she said that um, you should have known when I didn't open the door for you that I ain't care nothing about you. Um, you was just a kid that I, I gave you, wait a minute, a kid that didn't make the cut, something to that grade. Oh, a girl was really nasty. It was very hurtful. Like, stuff like that, I would never ever say it to my child. I don't care how mad I could have 
mm-hmm. ever got. I could never talk to any of them. Oh, oh wow, mm-hmm. that is. She talked to her so bad, girl. It was like the, the daughter started cussing her out back, and it was oh, girl. Was okay, crazy. hold on, hold on. I found it. I found it. Okay, I found it. Okay, so the daughter's name is Ashley Harrigan. And she had posted, she had posted, this was in um to uh November of uh this was like in 2018. And the daughter posted, so my biological mother, Ebony Marie Baxter, is a public figure, and so is my little brother, as y'all may know, which is cool. However, she decided to post me on her page saying I resented her for being adopted and basically making me look like I'm the reason she's not a part of my life. Let's be real. Being adopted was a blessing and I knew her all my life. But when I was 17 and said I like females, I was bashed and disowned, as you can see in these messages. And this is why I feel the way I feel about her. So everyone in her comments talking about I have to get over the fact that I was giving up needs to learn adoption then turn me resentful. Being bashed did. But I was over that part and all was forgiven until you try to use a lie as a platform. I don't care who feels a way either. God bless. And um, that's what happened. She, she And so, again, it was on social media. Like I said, the stuff had to be posted on social media. for. Uh, and this is, um, what am I reading from? I'm reading from Lipstick Alley for them to yeah. be able to get it. So, yeah, it was like, uh, and then what she said was 22 years ago, this is what, what's her name? The Baxter lady, uh, Ebony, what's her real name? Ebony. 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 Okay. She posted in, um, that 22 years ago, she gave birth to a little girl and named her Ashley. When I was 10 months old, I was homeless teen in New York with absolutely nothing to offer her. So I sacrificed my pride and my heart and gave her up for adoption. Throughout the years, I have stayed in contact with her. However, she does hold resentment in her heart towards me because I gave her up. There's nothing I can do about that, nor is that a road I'm interested in traveling. What I can say is that who she is is because of the parents I gave her up to. So there must have been something Mm. like the part you read about where she says she wish she wouldn't have had her and all that other stuff. And you That's realize- why the daughter was mad because the daughter, they was thinking that the daughter was mad because she was giving up for adoption. She was like, no, I wasn't mad about that. I was mad about what my mother said on social media about wishing she never had me and all this kind of other stuff. Right. And she, you know, she also um, because she was gay. Because daughter, yeah, because she liked girls, yeah. Mm-hmm. Wow, and, yeah, so it's just, and then now you know, also, Ebony was also a drug addicted stripper, mm-hmm. uh, yeah, she was, she was a drug addict, and which is why she doesn't drink anymore. Mm-hmm. She because she kept saying, I want to drink, I want to drink, I want, I wish I could have a drink. But I can't, and this, that, and the other. But she's um, she's a recovering addict. So she, you know, and I'm saying she got some. She and her son's mentally ill. Come yeah. on, now. so she well, on their um on their IG they got like a million followers for the Baxter boys, the little Byron and Blake, Byron, yeah, mm-hmm. the little um. And I told you, my niece knows her. I ain't gonna say in what capacity. Now, who is this lady? Who is she? The mother? Eb- Ebony oh, Marie mother. Baxter. Mm-hmm. Ebony E B O N I E Marie Baxter. Mm-hmm. I mean, but who is she? She's nobody, really. It's her sons who made her <laughs> famous, basically. Her son who has that disease. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm I'm not saying she's nobody like that, but I'm you know what I mean. Like she's not famous, she's not a celebrity, she's not. But because of her sons having this large following from her, her sons who had that disease or got the mm-hmm. disease that Mrs. Slow was um, talking about in the yeah. beginning, um, it's like it's called osteo mm-hmm. yeah, osteogenesis imperf- imperfecta, which is a rare bone yeah. disease. The um, bone they, disease. Yeah, they done made like lots and lots of money from their children. Having a for them putting their children on social media and having a large following for posting about you know their children over their lives or whatever, so that's who she is, that's who the mother is. 
Yeah. yeah. So, um, but yeah, she did give away her oldest daughter, her biological daughter, and they did have some type of beef on social media. But yeah, still and still and all, I've you know sh- condolences to her son because yes. I can't imagine my son being killed or committing suicide. It's it's very sad. It's very sad. But still, that that girlfriend, ex girlfriend, I'm telling you, I would. She, she would never want to see me if that was if she if, if I was in that position. She would never want to cross my path. Like ever. Never, ever, 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 ever. That is so wrong. You wouldn't do a dog like that if you saw a dog lying on the side of the road right. dying and got hit by a car. You would stop and see if that dog was okay. I mean, you. I wouldn't, but I see what you're saying. You know what I'm saying. I mean, I'm just using that for an example. What you're saying. You just but if you see that somebody crash, like a human being, if you see them crash, and you know you got a cell phone, you can at least call. Even okay. if you don't stay, you can at least call, send the police squad. You could have saved their life. He could have been bleeding internally. We don't know exactly how he died, but... <sighs> That's, That's just, I mean, it's just wrong all the way around. And I can't everybody, understand. Look, we all got to meet the creator and we all going to have to uh, stand before him one day. So, hey, Tony Dimples. She going to have to stand there on judgment day and uh, I just, atone for her sins herself. You up there passing the screenshots of the crash to your friends through text messages, mm. calling the boy stupid, and I, I that would never leave my mind if I was the mother. That that part right there. <sighs> what kind of person? What kind of person? Like what kind of people raised who you know how we used to say who raised you? Who raised you? Who raised you? I don't get it. Her mom Mm -hmm. used to work for her. That's how she knew how she met her. Her mom used to work for Ebony? Yes. That's how they met. Yeah. Mm Mm-mm. Now what what do you mean work for Ebony? What was she doing for Ebony? I I didn't know in what capacity, but Maybe a nanny or something. I don't know. Oh, okay. Yeah. That's ridiculous that, I mean, like I said, these kids are so desensitized nowadays. Nothing seems to phase them. And everything has to be on social media. Yeah, everything has to be posted on social media. Everything has to be shared. Everything is not for everything. Just like we said earlier, everything ain't for everything. I mean, everybody... Same thing. Everything that goes on with you in your life does not need to be shared. Exactly. Everything. And for you to be, I mean, what kind, how do you, how do you look at yourself in the morning? Really, how do you look at yourself knowing what you did or what you could have done? I would love to talk to her. I would love to talk to her and be like, what type of relationship? But she would, you know what? I'm Why did y'all break now. up? Why? She's the kind of person I can tell you now, just from just from her doing what she did or didn't do, mm-hmm. she's the kind of person that would not receive what you're trying to say. I don't you even want to say anything. You would I be blaming her. her. You, I just she want wouldn't take it. Explanation. She would be. I, I. I bet you. I bet money. I just want to honest be the kind of girl to be like. You ain't gonna tell me nothing. You can't tell me shit. I don't care who you are. You ain't my mama and this and that and blah blah. blah. I bet. And, and, and I don't. I don't. I wouldn't even. T- I wouldn't even tell her shit. I just want to know. Like, what did he do to you? For you. To not call for him. Like, what happened? I'm telling that's you that's it. how she would come up. If anybody she that was in there and laughed about this. She said they were arguing and she told him, go kill yourself. No, yeah, I, I mean, I'm, I, and I remember reading that. Or I remember you hearing, you saying that. Or the mom said that or something. But even still, yeah, after you t- most of the time when you tell somebody to go kill yourself, you don't really mean it. And if they really do go out and do it, you kind of feel like, oh, my God, a little guilt. But he actually 
you didn't hear about it later. You didn't hear about it yes to the next day that he killed it. So you saw it. And you did nothing. Like, did you have some little shred of guilt? Like, this man really That's did? my part. She seen him go through the window, y'all. But listen, she Before made the phone drop. She she may, but she may have. I'm gonna tell you this. We sitting here and we criticizing and judging her, but she's probably a young girl and thought that she might be in trouble for seeing it. Nah, I don't think that's the case because you sitting in text messages around this fool, you laughing and joking about it. Nah, she wasn't thinking about being in trouble. Mm mm. Hey Tiana, what's up, girl? Hey Tiana, long time no see, boo. But that's just crazy. Again, condolences though to. It's a lot of people that lost their lives. Nene leaks her husband. Greg leaks lost his life. Lost his battle to cancer. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Michael, uh, what's his last name again? Williams. Michael K. Williams, um, the actor from The Wire and a lot of other uh, movies mm -hmm. and TV shows. He's been on a lot of stuff. Uh, yeah. And then this, the Baxter boy, Cyrus. Uh, who else did we mention? Um, we mentioned Raheem's dogs. Oh, oh, Lord Jesus. Come on. <laughs> I mean, we did. Jaheem's dog, the one that he <laughs> starved to death. Rest, for like a rest in peace. Little. But see, we at least we know that dog going to doggy heaven. At least we know that for sure. You don't know who that dog could have been. He could have been a whole bunch of people. That dog could have been reincarnated. I know um, they say who else, dogs go to heaven. Somebody, anyway, I'm going to shut up. Who else died this week? I'm going to shut up for somebody sick Peter on me. <laughs> <laughs> 